He's running for mayor? A conniving skunk. Do you realize the amount of control the mayor has? The police department, the zoning commission, not to mention veto power over city council. I was going to tell you, Karen. To be honest, when Dan first brought it up, I thought he was joking. I mean, he's running unopposed. Well, then we're going to have to find somebody who can beat him. You know, I'd love to help, but my hands are tied. I made a deal with the devil that I'd stand by his side through this election. In exchange for what? A divorce. Freedom for Nathan, for me. Trust me, it was an offer too good to refuse. Sure. But you know, I can still make things difficult for him. The billboards look great. Uh, TV ads air next week. And thanks to a well-timed donation, the high school's generously agreed to officially retire my jersey this Friday night at Midnight Madness. Which brings me to my platform. Family first, a return to traditional values. Safer streets, better schools, neighborhood watch programs, a new and improved mass transit system, parents as role models, so sorry, Dan. I, I didn't know we had company. Mm. Can you see my ass through this? Deb, honey, it's a little early to be drinking, don't you think? Oh, come on. It's noon somewhere, right? <laughs> Cheers. What are you doing? Well, in the spirit of your little fashion show earlier, I decided to take up photography. I call this exhibit Deb's Toothbrush. Let's see. Here's me arm rolling the tires with your toothbrush. Scrubbing the toilet. The neighbor's dog. <coughs> oh, and my favorite. Here's your toothbrush up the dog's. <laughs> <laughs>